Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to start the build of the Tronic C X5S 3D printer. So I've got some basic things laid out here, and I want to cover out how to get started with this or how I'm going to suggest getting started. So one of the things I did is I laid out all the maker rail over here. You can't see it all, but uh, by size, uh, I lined it all over here. So I've unwrapped it, I've cleaned it, I've got it stacked by size. I've got the vi various different pieces uh, set up and aligned over here. The other thing I did is I went and I cleaned up, removed all the covering of the laser cut pieces here. So when I go to get to these, this is all going to be set. Now the other thing, and I've covered this in, in the tarantula build video, is uh, I, I like to use these clear cocktail cups to sort my screws. So the screws come labeled in a bag like this. So for this build portion, I've divided my screws up into these clear cups so I can see them. I can easily get at them. They're Phillips. So I'm going to use this uh, uh, powered uh, screwdriver, torque driver, uh, to insert them. Now I'm not going to bore you and, and go through this all in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a time lapse of the um, uh, build of the frame. So I'm also going to break this video up into a couple different segments. So I'm going to do the build of the frame. I'm going to probably do the uh, bed assembly and then I'm going to do probably the belts and then the wiring. So probably four videos, four build videos and then maybe one wrap up video because I want to be able to keep these in digestible chunks uh, for you know you guys. So if you go ahead and do this, again, you can kind of break it up because this is the way I would suggest from looking at the uh, instructions. The other thing I do is I have the PDF. So you get a PDF on the SD card that comes with the printer. I have it on my iPad over here. I like it on the iPad versus printed out because I can pinch and zoom uh, because I need to wear reading glasses to see within 21 inches of my face I'm blind. So this really works out great so I can really zoom in because some of the print is pretty small and, and it's almost like a photocopy of a photocopy so helps out a lot. So tell you what, I'm going to clean off the bench and I'm going to start the assembly. Now one of the things I do want to mention is just double check the instructions because you have two different size rails because what happens is um, the 2040 is the vertical uprights uh, and then what happens is you have one one stanchion that comes this way and then you have another stanchion that goes vertically and there are two different lengths there's a uh, I believe there it's a, a 460 and a 530 so make sure that you know you don't uh, you know put two of the same size on this together and basically what that does is goes together with an M5 screw so Let's go ahead, let's cut to the time lapse. Let's put this base together. Then after the base, we'll jump out of the time lapse and I'll kind of explain it a little bit more. So let's head to the time lapse. Okay, welcome back from the time lapse. So uh, it's a little bit difficult trying to get everything in, the, in on the frame on this because it's rather large. So uh, we've got the base assembly built, uh, which is pretty straightforward. Now I want to cover a couple different things. Um, number one, I'm just trying to look here. A lot of these these um, brackets. I'm going to try to get it in the frame down here. So when you assemble the bracket, the head goes in, there's a countersunk portion and there's a non-countersunk portion. So uh, one of the things, make sure you put the heads in on the countersunk side um, or else they'll get jammed trying to go in this side. The other thing you'll notice that uh, a set of them has um, two extra holes. These, these go up in the base. So you, I don't know if you can see over here and over here. So because that's where your rods will go into, mount into for your bed. So basically your bed stanchions will go on these sides. The other thing is you don't want to tighten this up super tight yet. So I don't know if you can see, but I, I, I've left it a little bit loose. And also, I'm going to flip this around. Oh, before I do that, so you see I put the feet on. I'll adjust these up a little bit more uh, after I get the assembly done now. I'm going to flip it around this way. Notice that... Uh, try to get this all in here. Uh, I didn't put in the, the what would be the vertical assemblies just yet. 
So that will be these bars. But before we do this, we have to assemble and put the uh, center carriage on uh, with the hot end in that that'll move back and forth because one of the pieces um, is the carriages do not have concentric bushings. I tried to get this down here, do not have concentric bushings. So in other words, you have to put, put it on first um, before uh, you uh, actually mount the, uh, the bar because it won't go on over top, it has to slide on. So uh, just a little tip there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the top assembly together and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at that assembly. Okay, so we're back. So we've, uh, as, as I mentioned, we put the second set of rollers on. Notice that we have the holes facing up so they match the holes at the bottom. Uh, also, as I mentioned uh, before jumping to the time lapse, we have to put these carriages on uh, before we mount these. And also pay attention to the position of the uh, uh, pulleys on these so they have to go this way. The other thing you probably saw me do is I didn't tighten up this frame until the very end uh, because you need a little bit of wiggle room to get everything to line up. And then what I did is I took uh, Machinist Square and just made sure everything was uh, in, in general square and tightened it up. Uh, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, I think, at this time because, again, once we put in the bed, I think we'll have to adjust a little bit. Uh, but at this point in time, I felt comfortable enough to kind of tighten things up. It was. Uh, did come out pretty square so I was happy with that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this top assembly together um, and I don't think I'm going to because I need to do that standing up and I can't really you really can't see that because this thing's so tall. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble that and then I'll come back and I'll explain how I assembled it. Okay welcome back. So we've got the top assembly complete. We've got this cross member on here. This is a little bit uh, difficult to get. This is a little bit difficult to get on there um, because you have to sort of line it up and uh, bring it in from the bottom, which makes it a little bit difficult. And then line up your um, uh, uh, V slot screws. I'm trying to think of the name of them here uh, down below, and then get the right distance between here because it has to clear these rails yet it has to still be tight. So that took a little bit of work. Now, one of the other things I want to make sure I correct myself from the last time, it, the uh, instructions a little bit insinuate these should be opposing, but after assembly, they should go on so they're uh, on the same side. So just FYI, I don't know if I was able to cut that part out of the last section or not, but if I didn't, um, just kind of a little bit of build update. Also notice the motors on the back here. I might have to adjust these up a little bit. Again, these come around these pulleys and come back this way. I'm not going to do the belting uh, until the very end because uh, it shows actually in the instructions to do the belting at this point. So I'm going to hold this off. Now, one of the things I want to pan this up. Again, this guy is pretty big. So I've got the top um, pulleys on here. Also notice that the two go to the top here. So this is going to be the front of the machine. I've got the hot end placed. You have to place this on the rail before you mount it so it becomes a little bit of a uh, bear as I mentioned to get it on there. And again, when I go to do the belting I probably have to adjust all this up a little bit depending upon the pulleys. But what I'm going to do next and I'm going to move to the next episode is the uh, uh, put the bed assembly or the Z assembly together. Because uh, I want to get this thing all together then I'll do the belting at the very end. So uh, I'll probably do uh, uh, the Z assembly and get the bed in in the next episode and then the episode after that we'll do the, all the electronics and then uh, probably either in an episode in itself or with the electronics I'll do the belting because that's probably going to be one of the most complicated pieces to follow because the belting uh, has to pull both um, I'm not getting it in frame here. Let me move this down a little bit. So we have to move this carriage both in X and Y. So that's what this is. So you have an X and a Y motor back here. And so one is going to tug this assembly while the other is going to tug this assembly around. So 
anyways, so hopefully you found this interesting and you're following with me on this build. Again, I'll have links to this printer down below. So far, this thing is gargantuan. Um, I'll do some videos when I get it uh, finished next to the Creality. And uh, wow, this, this guy is pretty big. As, as you can kind of see, I'm having a hard time getting it all in the frame. So hopefully you find this interesting. If you did, give a thumbs up. Again, I'll have links to all this down below from GearBest. Thanks again to GearBest for providing this. And uh, hey, we'll see you guys in the next video. Get my finger in down here. See you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.